Oh god, I'm still going to fucking die. Alright, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, apologies in advance. As you might have heard, I, I'm still trying to die since our last video, so apologies if I sound a bit out of it. But anyways... Fire Emblem Warriors is the first Musou game of the Warrior series that I've played. And that's a bit surprising considering I'm a fan of the genre and, well, I have yet to play the codifier of the genre itself. With the exception of the few minutes I spent with Hyrule Warriors from a friend's borrowed copy before I went, yep, that's a Musou game, and also the fact that the 3DS's screen literally makes me want to gouge out my eyes. Seriously, why are games still being released on the thing? And you know what, I went on a rant in one of my earlier videos, so let's not repeat that. Anywho, Fire Emblem Warriors is a Musou game taking place in the Fire Emblem universe. A very, very, very... Long and expansive set of games. This follows the formula of the traditional Fire Emblem story. Well, the traditional of the two stories that I have played, Fire Emblem Awakening, which I defeated a grand total of four times, and Fire Emblem Fates, which I beat once and attempted to play the true storyline before stopping because fuck the 3DS. Anyways, so the story starts off with two twins the prince and princess of the realm, all fleeing their castle once their realm gets invaded by a bunch of fucking dra freaky dragon monster guys. Then they are told a story about how once upon a time there was a divine dragon and a dark dragon and they fought and the dark dragon couldn't be killed so it was sealed away and there are some artifacts of dubious power in the world that they must track down, and one that has been held by their family for generations, the general Fire Emblem story. So, but there is a twist. To In order to unlock the power of one of these artifacts, the Shield of Flames, they must locate five heroes from different worlds and bring them together in order to defeat the Chaos Dragon, the evil dragon of this series, and... That's basically the story in a nutshell, honestly. Basically, they track down a couple of the he most popular and most well-known heroes of the Fire Emblem Awakening, Fire Emblem Fates, and Fire Emblem, the one with King Marth, the single most popular and well-known of the Fire Emblem royalty. But yeah, they have to track down these people, unite them, power up their shield, and collect a couple of artifact swords thing dragon teeth things i mean it's said that these swords are dragon teeth but they don't fucking look like it but that's besides the point they have to find these artifacts and then they have to track down the evil in which case this is a dragon as it always is in a fire Emblem game and kill it and that's the basic you know basic bare bones premise of the story aside from this there's also the interactions between the characters which I'm not sure if I like or not. In a lot of cases, the this this story suffers from a problem in many stories, and that problem is the just fucking talk problem. As in a lot of these stories, it's like they find a member of the party of each uh, one of these games, and it's like, hey, we found this person, let's help them. We helped you, and they're like, okay, help me track down the rest of my party slash family. And then they find the family, and the family's like, oh, look, little sister friend person we found you these people must be your kidnappers we're gonna kill them and then the little sister person that was rescued by the people is like no it's just a misunderstanding they saved me but then the rest of the family's like no rah, we gotta kill them ignore what you're trying to tell us at the very moment it's like jesus christ just fucking talk if you would just you know calm your raging murder boner for a few minutes we could avoid this conflict entirely like i'm pretty sure these people like you kill thousands of enemy soldiers during every single match and it's like hey hey thousands of deaths could have been avoided if you just shut your fucking mouth and listened but of course that doesn't happen so a lot of the plot is basically just uh, problems that could have been solved by just fucking talking, but besides that, the plot isn't really that good. It's not. It's not bad. It's not good. It's competent. It's workable. But for the most part, one isn't in a Musou game for the story. 
So that leaves the gameplay, and how's the gameplay? Well, the gameplay is traditional Musou flare. Fair. You hit the primary attack button over and over again until you either finish your combo or you find one that ends in Y that you like more than the original just smash X until everything dies button. You either hit the button to unleash your special attack or you hit a button to unleash a super mode which boosts your damage and then once it runs out ends with a super attack. And there's also a dodge button from the very few occasions when a enemy telegraphs a very obvious attack along with a actually that's all the buttons there's just attack stronger attack to use on occasion block oh yeah and there's also a guard button that you will never use i went the entire i, I just i sincerely went the entire game without once guarding until i started speaking right now and i just realized yeah there's a guard button so yeah the combat is just traditional muso flare but it feels good. I mean, there's just something about slashing your way through aforementioned thousands of enemies in a single level while then putting the foot to ass to other Fire Emblem characters, protagonists, and allies and enemies that just feels really freaking good. Um, it's just, if you, if the uh, idea of Taking down thousands of cannon fodder with the occasional fight against a uh, fellow and fellow playable character appeals to you, then you already know whether or not you want to play a Musou game. There's really no question about it. Besides this, you know, the storyline will take you, um, I'd say it took me a good, what, 8 to 10 hours to finish it up, but that's because I'm terrible at video games. And I couldn't, I'm a crazy completionist person, so I had to get all of the Master Seals and all of Anna's memories. And even then, I'm still not completely done, because after you beat the game, you unlock a even harder difficulty along with the more of Anna's memories to unlock. And speaking of that, unlockables are also a thing in this game. Every time, every time you beat a level, you get certain collectibles and materials from your enemies including new weapons and new medical items that you can equip to your character as well as a system where you can break down weapons with certain attributes to add them to other weapons and each and every one of the 20 cast members you can also customize further with material drops from enemies and you can sort of make them you know you can give them extra moves you can make them heal more from healing items or you can make their defense stronger against certain enemy and weapon types like you can make them take less damage from swords from magic things like that basically as for the characters themselves each and every one of them plays differently depending on what weapon they have they all um fight in a different way a spear person is going to be faster and is going to have more um, lunging and jabby attacks while a swordsman is gonna have you know sweeping attacks that attack multiple enemies at once and mag magic people do less damage but have better crowd control and there's also the tiki who is a mac mckinty i i don't know how to pronounce the species' fucking name but she has the ability to turn into a dragon after you fill up her meter a bit so that's a mechanic that's also i feel really well thought out when you play as her like it's really not about attacking and attacking as it is with a traditional character you're trying to build up a meter to turn into a dragon and just waste motherfuckers it's great i like tiki but besides that you also have costumes that you can unlock you have anna's memories are these little uh vignettes these little gal these little images that you can unlock piece by piece and then those unlock in the extras menu and there's also history mode which after you beat the main storyline you can go into and it's like these scenarios from the different fire emblem games awakening fates and i believe it's called radiant dawn i'm not sure whatever the name of the game that marth is but you can unlock these and you can play through them you can play through certain enemies and you'll under unique conditions whereas in the main game usually the conditions boil down to capture the forts and kill this character these have conditions like 
uh, kill these characters before time runs out, or um, survive for as long as possible. They're different, they're a bit more challenging than your traditional story mode. So it's encouraged for you to play story first and level up a set amount of your favorite characters and then tackle these with those characters. But aside from that, Fire Emblem Warriors is a fantastic Musou game. And honestly, at this point, if you like Musou games or if you don't like Musou games, then you're probably gonna tell if you're probably gonna know if you enjoy this game. And if you're not into Musou games, well, I can't say that this is one of the better examples I have played, and especially if you're a Fire Emblem fan and you've never played a Musou game, then I would say this is the perfect jumping on point. Also, by the way, I it's not required to have knowledge of these video of these games, but I imagine that if you didn't, you would be incredibly confused. Like, there are a bit of interactions and character moments that make more sense. There's, uh, the support system makes a comeback in a very limited way. It's nowhere near as expansive as it is in the games themselves. But in this, they do make an appearance and their conversations are just like fun little nods to stuff that a fan would know. So while not strictly necessary, and while it isn't a determent, deterrent... I would say that if you are a fan of the Fire Emblem series and you've played the particular games these characters come from, it's an added bonus to this game. As it is, as someone who's played Awakening four times through and Fates once and three quarters of the way through, I would say that this is a game well worth picking up regardless. It's a solid eight and a half, nine-ish, low nine type of game. I really, really like it. I really recommend it if you're a fan of Musou or Fire Emblem, or you just want to check out the just the genre and see if it's for you. So yeah, Fire Emblem Warriors gets a definite thumb up. Go check it out. Anyways, that's been me, Juan John John, for the day. Um, just my thoughts and opinions on Fire Emblem Warriors. If you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see y'all later. By the way, a bunch of links in the description to the special edition and just the regular edition if you want to purchase it and help out the channel a bit, along with my Patreon, which you can drop a couple of bucks by every month or so just to help out the channel. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.